Y'all making any progress? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're both short stroking here. I ain't doing shit. Never mind, half stroking. <laughs> I've been tightening it the whole time. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> 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 I've been working against each other. <laughs> <laughs> all right so if y'all watched my last video y'all will know that we just got that 6.2 liter started up for this truck restore project so that means it's time to get on restoring the 1986 chevy c30 it's two-wheel drive so we'll have to convert it to four-wheel drive but it is a one-ton crew cab square body truck so pretty excited about that after i started the 6.2 i decided to go ahead and sell the 454 that's in the truck so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to go ahead and get it pulled out and you know I don't, depending on how long that takes we may do some other things but start preparing for the straight axle conversion on the front so it'll be a four-wheel drive luckily my buddy jordan offered to let us use his shop to do this whole restore project because it's a nice cool 28 degrees out here this morning we got the dodge here loaded up with a few tools some extra jacks my impact and uh, some towels gloves all that stuff so uh, i already took a load of stuff out there to his shop with the truck itself so uh, we'll get on it. My friend Trenton have now made it out here to Jordan's shop. It's a nice, I think it's a 40 by 50. Isn't that what Jordan said? Yeah. So we got a 40 by 50 red iron shop. He's already got the fire started up for us over here. So uh, here is the 1986 C30 crew cab. Uh, we're going to start pulling out this. Uh, front grill and pull the motor I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hood start looking at uh, what we got to do to convert this thing to full-wheel drive I'm gonna go ahead and get this hood off of here get it out of our way what size do we need here there he is the man of the hour Oh, not much. Not much. Some tacos. tacos. Nice. This is Jordan Hignot, the man letting us use his shop. How y'all doing? <laughs> oh. What do you find? Ow. It's eating me up, but there's a, there's a very high dollar tool in here. 10 millimeters. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, the joys of working on old trucks. Finds all kinds of tools. I'm going to use one of your N8 cans for a real beer and shit, so I don't want my paw. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. You gonna so. use that empty in AK in there? <laughs> <laughs> I stole this little method. That's kind of 
that. Well, one. I'm not used to having fancy equipment like uh, creepers. You can't roll all the creeper in the fucking gravel, can no. you? No. <laughs> <laughs> He has some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to finish off the trifecta shavers? Man, my Chinese, world. Japanese, Taco Bell. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Am I clean Maybe a weapon of war? quality bolt. They don't make them like that anymore. No, they don't. <laughs> I think we can reuse these. One more time. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> drive shaft disconnected and about everything I can think of to disconnect other than the motor mount bolts but I'm gonna go ahead and get the cherry picker over here hooked up and ready to go so we're about to pull this motor out of here I don't know oh my god <laughs> I don't know how long you want won't even have to reach my ends in there oh, I got one. well if I get it too long I ain't even be able to hold it up I think that's long enough, Trenton. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's already a wobble joint. <laughs> Be careful with that. As long as you're out. Can you hold it for me? Oh, yeah. You're going to have to hold the... <laughs> Damn, Trenton. <laughs> How are we going to get anything done with you doing that? <laughs> oh, something smells burnt. Uncle. Can't. Uh 
focus with all this shit going on in here. <laughs> What kind of tool is that? <laughs> well, wouldn't you like to know? It's a wobble extension. Yeah. <laughs> Make any progress? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're both short stroking here. I ain't doing shit. There we go. Never mind, half stroking. <laughs> I've been tightening it the whole time. <laughs> Are you sure? <serious? laughs> <laughs> Fuckers been working against each other. <laughs> We've got the 454 out of this thing, and now we're just working on cleaning up this engine bay, getting rid of shit we don't need, and uh, preparing this thing to be stripped completely down. And uh, by the way, if y'all want to follow this project along with a 6.2 liter L86 going into a 1986 Crew cab square body, go and hit that like and subscribe button down below. straight axle conversion on this two-wheel drive front end the uh, the kit I got is just some brackets there's no instructions or anything I suppose they figured if I can do this I didn't need any instructions but the company is sky off-road design or sky manufacturing or something but it's a pretty nice little kit uh, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to weld the front leaf spring hanger on the front of the frame. But before I do so, I need to find the center line on these tires. That way we can make sure that the center of the spring lands in the center line of this tire. Because we don't want the tire to be all the way up into the fender or back into the cab or... Right yeah, so this is going to be important, and after we get this centered, we can probably just put the spring on and find our positioning for the back hanger. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these measurements, 
write those down, and then we're gonna start taking all this two-wheel drive shit off of here. We're gonna call it a day. We have removed the engine successfully, and now we've removed the front suspension and engine cross member. I've got to go find a engine cross member online to install in here now, so that should be fun. <laughs>